Today in the Daily Dose, the first successful human heart transplant. When the first heterotopic or out-of-place animal heart transplant was performed by Alexis Carroll and Charles Guthrie in 1905, for humans anyway, the art of heart transplantation would take years of collective surgical effort to overcome technique shortcomings such as ischemia or muscle loss due to inadequate oxygenation of the heart. During transplantation, the need for a viable cardiopulmonary bypass machine, and the issue of foreign tissue rejection in the human body. That began to change in the late 1950s with advances in heart-lung bypass technology, which allowed cardiac surgeon Norman Shumway and his group at Stanford to perform orthotopic or normal position heart transplantation in canines. In 1965, Shumway's colleague Richard Lower made an important contribution when his canine patient survived 250 days by combining two rejection drugs, azathioprine and methylprednisolone. By the late 1960s, many heart programs in the U.S. and abroad were approaching technical viability for performing human-to-human -human heart transplants. But on the 3rd of December, 1967, South African surgeon Christian Barnard stunned the world by successfully performing the first. Barnard was head of experimental surgery at the Grote Schuur Hospital in Cape Town, where he performed the pioneering surgery. Having previously performed successful kidney transplants, his team identified 54-year-old heart disease patient Louis Washkansky as a suitable recipient for a donor heart. Struck down by a drunk driver while crossing at an intersection, Denise Darville was pronounced brain dead at Groot Schuur on December 2nd. Kept alive on a ventilator, Denise's father approved her for donor status, and the landmark operation began shortly after midnight. Six hours later, on the morning of December 3rd, electric shocks brought Washkansky's new heart back to life. Yet sadly, the immunosuppressant drug cocktail he was given contributed to his death by pneumonia 18 days later. Tissue rejection continued to plague heart transplant programs around the world, forcing many cardiac surgeons to nearly abandon the procedure until the development of cyclosporin in 1980 pump new life into the procedure. Along with anti-proliferative or anti-cell growth agents such as azathioprine, according to the Mayo Clinic, worldwide heart transplant survival rates today boast an 85% survival at one year post-op and 69% at five years post-transplantation. And there you have it, the first successful heart transplant. Today in the Daily Dose, get your nerd on with the Daily Dose and learn something new every day. Subscribe to the Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.